Welcome to episode one of the Monday Mission Podcast. I'm your host, Annette Spears. Thank you for joining me today. The goal of our podcast is to help you start your week uplifted and encouraged. We could all use a bit of encouragement these days. Today, I'd like to talk about the difference in being ready and being prepared and how we can best be prepared for troubled times and unexpected challenges. Now, we can't be ready for everything, but we can be prepared for many things through faith, prayer, and courage. These biblical principles aren't new, but they are tried and true, and that's why they work. Let's start with faith. Now, my favorite scripture is Hebrews 11.1, which gives us the biblical definition of faith. Hebrews 11.1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Everyone has faith, Christian or not. The question is, where and with whom our faith is placed? Let's take planning for a vacation, for example. If you're planning for a vacation, let's say you're going to Hawaii in June, you bought some clothes, some luggage, you've even booked flights and paid for hotel. That's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen is you exercising your faith. You buying the tickets, you buying the luggage, you buying a few outfits and booking your flights. That's faith, believing something that hasn't yet happened. As Christians, we put our faith in God, and we have faith for his love and for his promises to us. Now, like our bodies, our faith also needs to be exercised. So how do we do that? Well, there are many ways. But the most intimate way, the most effective way, is through prayer. It's how we communicate with God. And by praying, we show God that we believe he is God. Prayer is an exercise of faith. We wouldn't pray if we didn't believe God could hear us or heal us or help us or forgive us or love us or strengthen us or keep us. Then there's courage. Now, courage is probably the most challenging because courage is usually only gathered during trouble times. Now, many of us may be familiar with Joshua 1.9 when he says, be strong and of good courage. Now, some of us may not know that before the book of Joshua, in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 31.6, as Moses was turning over the nation of Israel to the leadership of Joshua, he also told Israel, be strong and of good courage. And in the very next verse, Deuteronomy 31.7, he called to Joshua and said, Be strong and of good courage. In other words, courage is something we have to remind ourselves of repeatedly, over and over again. Just as Timothy reminds us in 2 Timothy 1.7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So how does this pertain to the difference in being ready and being prepared? It's actually pretty similar to how it applies to our everyday life. We are never ready for a flat tire, but we're prepared if we have a spare. We're never ready for a major appliances to stop working. But we are prepared if we have some savings put aside. In the same way, we aren't always ready for the issues or illnesses of the world. Through faith, prayer, and courage, we can be prepared to weather yet another storm. God has shown us many examples of people exercising faith, prayer, and courage. He's shown us the faith of Abraham and Sarah, the prayers of Jesus, the courage of David, and of Esther. Faith, prayer, and courage is as relevant and effective today as it was then and as it will be tomorrow. So my wish for you today is to once again be strong and have good courage. Have faith and pray. 
Lastly, I want to leave you with a short little beat to start your week off and lift your spirits. So go ahead, raise your hands unless you're driving. Bob your head, rock your body, get up and dance. Have fun and celebrate and remember some of the promises God has kept in your life. He's not done yet. Thank you again for joining me. I'll see you next week. Have a great week, have a great day, and God bless. Thank you.